More and more users are updating their iPhone software to iOS 11, and there's a lot of new features that can be easily overlooked. To get a quick glimpse at all the new iOS 11 features for iPhone and iPad, click the card above. Apple's web browser, Safari, has been updated to Safari 11 with iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra, and has also received some pretty impressive updates. Here are some tips and tricks for using Safari that you may not have known about. The biggest feature to come to Safari 11 is cross-site tracking prevention. It prevents sites like advertisers from reading your cookies from websites you visit. In the end, you'll be seeing less targeted ads based off what you search for online. Like for example, seeing shoe ads in Facebook for a couple of weeks after searching Amazon for shoes. We have a full video explaining exactly how this feature works, so click the card above if you want to learn more. Have you ever needed to open multiple links and tabs from a single website and were annoyed that it would instantly pop up, forcing you to go back to the original site? If you didn't already know this, you can set links to open in the background instead of popping up a new tab by heading to the Safari settings and switching it to open in background. If you're on an iPad, you can hide the favorites bar in tab bar by disabling them in the settings. Another great feature that I would recommend for all users is autofill. It's been around for a while, but it gets even better with Face ID on an iPhone X. It'll save your info across multiple devices, including brand new devices, so you don't have to enter your credentials all the time. To use it, first turn on Keychain within iCloud settings, then tap Autofill in Safari settings, put in your info, and enable names and passwords. You can also save credit card info as well. Click the card above for an in-depth tutorial on how this feature works. Safari 11 on macOS can now automatically block annoying autoplay videos. Just open the Safari Preferences, head to the Websites tab, then click Autoplay. You'll see an option for autoblock settings when visiting other websites, which you can set to stop media with sound or never autoplay. If you want to change the setting for a certain website, just right-click the address bar, click Settings for this website, and then change the autoplay setting. If you always use a search engine in Safari to convert things like feet to inches, you can use Siri Search instead. Just swipe down on the home screen and type in your conversion. The answer will instantly show up without having to search. You can also look up a flight number to instantly track your flight. Safari's reader mode has been around for a while, and it's great because it blocks out ads, and only shows you what you want to see. With Safari 11, you can set it to automatically use reader mode whenever it's available. To turn it on, just tap and hold the reader mode icon. Then you can choose whether to use it only on that website, or on all websites. You can also tap the font button to change the size, background color, and font. If you're using an iPhone X, you can change the background to black to save some extra battery life while reading. Regardless of whether you're using the reader mode or not, you can tap and hold the bookmarks icon to either add a bookmark or add it to your reading list. To access your reading list, just hit the bookmarks icon and then the reading list tab. There's also a history tab where you can search through your history or clear it all. If you're on mobile and need the desktop version of the site, just tap and hold the refresh icon and a prompt should show up. If you've ever closed a tab on accident, just tap and hold the plus icon, and your recent closed tabs will show up. If you want to close all of your tabs, you don't have to manually close them. Just either hold the tabs icon, or the done icon while viewing your tabs. You'll then have the option to close all of your tabs at once. You can also instantly open a new tab or private tab by holding the tabs icon as well. If you tap the share button while viewing a web page, you have the option to print the page, find text within the page, or create a PDF file of the web page. After creating a PDF file, you can mark it up, share it, and save it to your device. When you create a new tab, you'll see your favorites pop up, along with your frequently visited sites. If you don't want one of them to show up, just tap and hold and delete it. If you don't want any frequently visited sites to show at all, you can turn that feature off in the Safari settings. You can also clear all history and website data within the settings. Just remember that your login info on websites will be cleared as well. If you're big on security and privacy, you can disable camera and microphone access, so no websites can have any access at all. You can also block all cookies and ask websites not to track you. If there are any other features or useful tips that I missed, let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.